So what is a light year? Try and get your head around this. A light year is the distance light travels in one year. So light travels at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. Now there are 31 million 536,000 seconds in a year. So if you multiply that number by 186,000, that will give you the distance in miles that light will travel in one year. So that is one light year. Now the object I'm going to photograph in space tonight is a galaxy 40 million light years away. That's the Needle Galaxy, NGC 4565. It's amazing to think that you can photograph objects like galaxies that far away with equipment like this from my own back garden. I'm Simon and you're watching Simon's Astro. set up I'm just waiting for it to get dark and I can slew to my star to get focused and then I should be slewing to my target which is the needle galaxy NGC 4565 currently cooling down the sensor it says temperature 3.8 degrees C I'm cooling that down to minus 10 this is the ASI Air Plus so this is Arcturus with a baton off mask on that is pretty good it's focused nicely from the last session focus hasn't moved so it's actually pretty good I'm going to try the autofocus because when I had to go with that the other day it didn't work so you're supposed to get the star focused manually as close as you can get to start with before you start the autofocus routine going. Oh, it's done it again, it's just beat. Something wrong with this. It's taken it right out to the maximum. So the EAF is not working at the moment. So I've finally got going on the Needle Galaxy. It's 10.25, as you can see in the sky it's not completely dark yet. But I thought I'm going to start it anyway, I'm doing five minute subs. So the last time I did this, which was a couple of nights ago, I was doing 10 minute subs. But I started later, so I might lose the first few of these, but I wanted to get the session going anyway. So uh, we'll see how many of these I can get. So now you can see the first five minute sub about to pop up. The guidance is not too bad, it's 0.67. It's a little bit windy tonight. So I'm hoping the wind actually dies down. So let's see what this one looks like. That's not too bad. That's a five minute so. Who's this? <laughs> That's a win. It's me. Cop coffee in front of that. Come up here, mate. Come on in. This is Darwin, my astro cat. He's off. He's fed up already. Well, at least I'm shooting now, anyway. 
Now things appear to be going okay and I'm actually now gonna go in and leave the rig outside running all night. I've set it up to do 40 subs and my calculations it should stop around about 2.30 to 2.45 and I reckon that'd be about right to actually stop then. It will be starting to get light so hopefully, fingers crossed it doesn't rain <laughs> and uh, I will uh, see the rig in the morning if I'm still here. As it goes, I would put my tent up. So I came out this morning at quarter past two and the sky was filled with clouds so I decided to call the session to an end. Uh, I took the scope in but put the tent over the rig so the mount is still there and I went back to bed. I'm glad I did because it's raining. So tonight looks like one of those rare nights where we've got no wind, no cloud and no moon. The only drawback to that is it doesn't get dark till around 11.30 and it's going to be light again by 2.30 so we don't have a very big window for astrophotography. But I'm going to make the most of it and see how it goes. Right, so the EAF appears to be working now tonight. I've just set it up to start a focus routine. I've got the star focused manually. Last night it was just winding the focus tube right out to its maximum and then stopping. But tonight I've changed the, the focus step size. It was on 40, I've changed it down to 30. And it appears to be working okay at the moment. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. So I'm now going to set the program up. We're in preview at the moment, so I'm going to go into auto run. And hit the plus button. I'm doing light frames. I'm going to stick with five minute subs. And I'm going to do 60 of them. Hit OK. Get back. Um, before we hit start, I've got to do the guiding. So I'll just let that do the calibration and when that's complete, I will hit the start button. Right, so the guiding has completed this calibration, it's actually started and it's running at 0.62, so that's pretty good. So I'm now gonna hit start on the auto run. Uh, it's gonna shut down after completion, yeah, confirm that. Right, we're off. So I really hope you like the video and I hope you like the image and I'd like to say who's thanks to all my subscribers. If you like this kind of thing and you'd like to see more and you haven't subscribed then please consider subscribing that'd be much appreciated and don't forget to tick that little notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and that just leaves me to say thanks again and I wish you all clear skies. <laughs>